Hi Pisces, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. Welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with a weekly reading for you for the week starting July 17th, 2017. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, so as always, keep in mind that these are general, so they're not going to apply to everyone or not in the same way. Uh, watch your Moon and Rising Sign readings for additional insight. And if you're interested in private reading, the link to my website is in the description box below. Okay, Pisces, let's see what's going on. I'm a Pisces sun too, so. It looks like a really great week with some bittersweet energy here. Let's uh, look into it. So the main focus, the main uh, event in the week, or main energy, we have the Five of Swords. So the Five of Swords comes through, he comes through here as a bittersweet energy in terms of there is a victory, but we're not 100% happy about it, if that makes sense. Um, this could be where you promised to do something, but you hoped you didn't really have to, and then in the end, yeah, you do. <laughs> um, or this could be where you applied for a job that you didn't really, really want, but maybe you didn't even think you would get it, and you do get it. It's a victory, and so the that's the sweet part, and the bitter part is, well, now everything's going to change in your life. Um... So there's definitely a, an element of bittersweet energy here, okay? The Five of Swords can also indicate um, a change that you cannot compromise on. So it's almost like there's a change happening with the energy of the number five. Um, but you feel like you just have to go with it. There's no, you don't have a lot of say in the situation or it's too late to back down. Uh, you would have upset or angry a lot of people with the Five of Swords. This could also just talk about being entered into some sort of a contest or competition that you're not fully happy about, but you have to represent whoever is backing you up there. Um, there's definitely an element of bittersweet energy that's coming up with this Five of Swords where there's a victory, but you don't feel like the victor, okay? Um, coming up here. So let's just look deep, deeper into it. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Ace of Pentacles. So this is awesome. So this could be about a job that you didn't really want, but here it is. This could be about a job that you applied for, you didn't really think you were going to get, kind of made your peace with it, made out of plans. Now you got this job and it's great. So you kind of have to let go of or cut out all the other plans you've been making because you got the job. Um, this could be about, it feels like something you wanted you went forward with it, but then you changed your mind, but now it's kind of late to do that, okay? Um, this could be a new relationship as well, maybe with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, it could be that you ask someone out, then you have a good connection with this person, but something happened and you changed your mind in the meantime, but you don't want to hurt this person's feelings because it's a good connection there, so you don't want to cut it out. You don't want to stop it. Um, the Five of Swords just talks about, it feels like just overthinking things hesitation because you're overthinking things with the five of swords you're thinking about it too much okay and so that causes hesitation and that causes um that feeling of you know not feeling like you're the victor because this is a big win this is a big opportunity with this ace of pentacles the five of swords could just represent a situation where there was a competition or someone was fired but they deserve to be, and you got their job, and so it's bittersweet there because you're anticipating how everyone else is going to see it or thinking about it. But again, you're overthinking, th overthinking it. Everything's fine. Um, it could be one of those situations where there's a new relationship, and you're hesitant, you know, in terms of what everyone else is going to believe or think about this, and um, maybe you're not ready to bring it to the world just yet, type of thing. But again, you're overthinking things and anticipating big obstacles when actually everything's okay. The Guidance, we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, and the Jupiter card, and this is the Hierophant. So the Guidance here, you're going through this change, it feels bittersweet because you're overthinking it, and potentially you're thinking about what other people are going to think or say or do. It's not your issue, okay? The Knight of Pentacles tells you to focus on the task at hand, this is a really good opportunity, financially first and foremost. 
good opportunity for a relationship as well, good opportunity for business endeavors as well, good opportunity to get your health where you want it to be, to, wait, to reach your goals. With this Knight of Pentacles, you've earned this. It's been a long time coming is what I'm getting. So just take it one step at a time, get a plan, and then just focus on that. Just stick to the plan. The Ten of Cups here is telling me that even though there may be naysayers, or you think they will be, the Ten of Cups is actually telling you that everything everything's okay. This is a happy time. This is a harmonious time with the people around you. This is joy and celebration. There's no judgment, okay? So try not to overthink things. There's an element of feeling guilty about something as well. So maybe you feel guilty because you got someone else's job, or you're feeling guilty because um, you got a job, but then you kind of changed your mind in the meantime and you don't know how to handle it. Or you're feeling guilty because, again, you asked someone out, but then you changed your mind. Now, that's a really good person. You don't want to let them go. Um, or you definitely try to start something. It's starting. But in the meantime, you've, you're overthinking it. And there's hesitation and fear. And you're not feeling very much like a victor. Okay? But with the Ten of Cups, people around you are, are supportive of you. And people around you are celebrating with you with this Ten of Cups. Or this is saying, focus on these people, okay? If there are naysayers, focus on the people who are there for you, who are happy for you, who are supporting you. But with this, I'm just getting that it's in your head with the Five of Swords. It's just in your head. And then the Hierophant here says, once again, kind of reinforcing the message of the Knight of Pentacles. Learn what the rules are. Learn what the expectations are. Um, figure out what you want to do with this, what you want to turn it into, this opportunity. Once you know that, you can come up with a plan on how you want to get there. And then just stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. Stick to that routine. Stick to the rules. Okay? You will get there. You will get to that massive success and celebration. The Ten of Cups with the Hierophant can also indicate some sort of a commitment conversation. Living together, getting married, starting a family as well. And maybe you're dreading that conversation. But actually, your partner is very much on the same page as you. So the message is, don't overthink. Do. Move slowly. Take your time. But just do, as opposed to thinking about it. Because you may have the wrong idea, and you may be psyching yourself out of a really great opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles here. All right? So there you have it. Um, I hope the reading helps. I hope it makes sense. Uh, if it doesn't make sense right now, just give it a few days for the, the week to properly start. Maybe it'll make more sense then. Um, watch your moon and rising sign readings for additional messages. Let me know what this is for you and how your week is going. But it looks like an amazing week, so let's just not overthink things. Just enjoy and go with it. Stick to the plan one day at a time, one step at a time, and we'll get to our happily ever after. All right? So... Uh, thanks for joining me. Hope you've enjoyed the reading and that it helps you. Have a wonderful week, and I'll talk to you again very soon. Take care.